Assalamu alaikum. It has been a while since we have talked about prayer, so here we are. Let's talk about some tips and strategies to help us stay consistent with prayer, prioritize it, and so on. Prayer is the most frequent obligation that we have five times a day. We get up and pray, in the middle of the day pray, later in the day pray, at sunset pray, at night pray. There is a constant cycle of going from one prayer to the next, and there is so much benefit in that, alhamdulillah. It is such a blessing for us to have multiple prayers in a day, but it can be difficult to keep up with it and stay consistent with it so let's talk about some ways inshallah to help us rekindle our relationship with prayer and level up our prayers number one our mindset it is a non-negotiable tell yourself it is a non-negotiable it's time to pray pray that's it no discussion i'm not negotiating this and try to catch yourself when you start negotiating with yourself some examples are like okay i'm just going to watch one more tiktok video then i'll pray or i'm going to message my friends and then i'll pray and then you start telling yourself you know what just one more video just one more text and then delay after delay after delay and before you know it you have missed prayer time so try to catch yourself when you see yourself negotiating and push against it and tell yourself i'm going to pray right now i'm not negotiating this it's an obligation there's no negotiation i'm getting up right now to pray so discipline yourself number two don't put up barriers don't make it more difficult for yourself to keep up with prayers what are examples of barriers for example we already know ahead of time what time our prayers are it is not a surprise so when we come to scheduling things in our day those blocks of time where prayer is should be sacred to us your friend wants to meet up with you at 5 p.m sorry i can't do it but i can do 5 30 p.m protect your prayer times at all costs prioritize them if you had a super important meeting with someone you wouldn't just schedule something else at the same time right our prayers are incredibly important meetings with our creator there's nothing more important than that so protect those times another example of a barrier is perhaps you're out you're on a road trip for example on a long drive and you don't have prayer rug and prayer garment or anything with you you're not prepared to pray anywhere at any point make sure you have a prayer rug with you a prayer garment water for whatever it is that you may need to pray so that you can easily easily pray so that there's no barrier there's no excuse there's no reason to not pray the less barriers there are the more likely you are going to fulfill that prayer number three tell yourself this Allah is consistent with me why am I not consistent with him Allah is consistent in his provision in his mercy in his forgiveness in everything it's not like one day we wake up and the sun hasn't risen that day he is consistent in every single function so why can't we be consistent in this one thing he has asked so little of us so let's show up inshallah number four let's remember that it is the first thing that we will be questioned about we have a hadith that tells us that the first action that a servant of allah would be questioned about are their prayers and the hadith continues and tells us that if they are in order he will have prospered and succeeded if they are lacking he will have failed and lost if there is something defective in his obligatory prayers, then Allah will say, see if my servant has voluntary prayers that can complete what is insufficient in his obligatory prayers, and the rest of his deeds will be judged the same way. SubhanAllah, look at Allah's mercy and generosity, that even if our prayers are insufficient, he looks for a way to make it sufficient, to make it complete. He looks to fill it with something else. Ya Allah, let's remind ourselves that Ya Allah, even when with the thing that is obligatory, even when we fall short, you are full of mercy and generosity and forgiveness for us. Let this encourage you to want to show up to your prayers. Ya Allah, you are full of mercy and generosity and forgiveness. The least I can do is actually show up to my prayers. Ya Allah, I will show up to my prayers. I want to be embraced in your love and mercy and generosity. So let this, inshallah, be an encouragement for us to show up and be enveloped in that mercy and generosity. Number five, let's remember that it is a gift. Allah brought the Prophet وسلم, to him on an incredible journey to give him the gift of prayer. He didn't just reveal it to him as a verse in the Quran, simple as that and done. He brought the Prophet وسلم, on a miraculous journey to him and gave him the gift of prayer through this journey. 
So inshallah, each one of us can in our own time look into the story of Isra and Mi'raj to give us that extra boost and connection and reminder that prayer is a beautiful gift and the Prophet وسلم, went on a beautiful journey to get that gift of prayer. And inshallah, hopefully that gives us a stronger connection to our prayer and helps us level up our prayer inshallah. So that's it for the five different ways to connect with our prayer and stay consistent with our prayers. Inshallah, I hope that you found this beneficial. Ya Rabbi, may Allah keep us consistent in our prayers. Let's keep striving, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.